Defense technology is a world of secrets, but sometimes a single comment can change everything. On an ordinary Tuesday, Elon Musk at a tech symposium casually revealed his company's collaboration with the US Navy. He described naval technology as light years ahead of what anyone imagines. This wasn't just hype. It was a rare peek into the Navy's relentless drive for technological supremacy. The US Navy's edge isn't just about big ships or powerful weapons. It's about a network, artificial intelligence, autonomous drones, and hypersonic capabilities working together. Imagine a fleet that sees everything, reacts instantly, and strikes with precision from thousands of miles away. This is the modern US Navy, a force where every ship, sub, and aircraft is a node in a vast intelligent web. The supremacy lets the Navy project power anywhere, protect sea lanes, and deter threats worldwide. Musk's comments highlight a partnership between the Pentagon and Silicon Valley, accelerating innovation at an unprecedented pace. The Navy's dominance is no accident. It's the result of over a century of investment and engineering. From ironclads to nuclear carriers, the Navy has always led technological change. Today, it's not just keeping up. It's pulling further ahead, leaving rivals scrambling. To understand this dominance, we need to look at the Navy's history, its current capabilities, and its vision for the future. The story of US naval power is one of constant evolution. It's a legacy of innovation, now supercharged by the brightest minds in tech. For allies, it's a shield. For adversaries, an almost insurmountable challenge. The Navy's true power lies in its ability to adapt, integrate, and outpace the competition. As Musk confirmed, the pace of change is only accelerating. The rest of the world is struggling to keep up. The US Navy began with six heavy frigates, built to outclass pirates and rivals alike. Early innovations, like the USS Constitution's resilient design, set a standard for technological superiority. The shift from sail to steam in the 1800s gave US warships speed and reliability, transforming naval warfare. The Civil War's ironclads made wooden fleets obsolete overnight. Rifled cannons, rotating turrets, and self-propelled torpedoes followed, each leap making the Navy more lethal. By the 20th century, the Navy was focused on global power projection, not just coastal defense. Dreadnought battleships and later aircraft carriers became symbols of American might. World War II saw carriers replace battleships as the fleet's core, projecting air power far from home. The launch of the nuclear-powered USS Nautilus in 1954 gave submarines and carriers unmatched range and endurance. Nuclear propulsion allowed months-long deployments, making the Navy a persistent global presence. This combination of air power and nuclear tech laid the foundation for today's reach. The Navy's history is a story of constant adaptation and technological leaps. Each era's innovation built on the last, ensuring US dominance at sea. That legacy continues to drive the Navy forward. In 1907, President Theodore Roosevelt sent 16 battleships, the Great White Fleet, on a global tour. This was a bold display of America's new naval power. Not an act of war, but a message to the world. The journey tested technology and logistics, proving the US could project power anywhere. The fleet's visits to Japan, China, and Europe showcased American strength and forced rivals to rethink their own navies. Lessons learned on this voyage led to better ship design and a shift from coal to oil. The Great White Fleet was more than a spectacle. It was a real-world test that shaped future advancements. It cemented the principle that presence matters. A powerful fleet must be visible and active worldwide. This doctrine of forward presence lives on in today's carrier strike groups. Modern US naval power is built on the foundation laid by Roosevelt's white battleships. The message remains. American reach and resolve are global. Today's technology would astound those early sailors, but the core mission endures. The Navy's ability to be everywhere is a key to its dominance. The Great White Fleet was just the beginning. The Cold War drove the US Navy to innovate at breakneck speed. Facing the Soviet submarine threat, the Navy developed the SOSUS underwater surveillance network and advanced sonar systems. Aircraft like the P-3 Orion hunted subs with cutting-edge sensors, creating a layered anti-submarine defense. Submarine-launched ballistic missiles made US boomers the most survivable leg of the nuclear triad. The quiet Ohio-class subs and Trident missiles ensured a powerful deterrent. Supercarriers like the Nimitz-class became mobile airbases projecting power anywhere. The Aegis combat system revolutionized fleet defense, tracking and engaging hundreds of targets at once. These Cold War innovations still form the backbone of US naval supremacy. 
the Navy's relentless pursuit of new technology kept it ahead of every rival. That drive continues today. Today, the US Navy is a fully networked digital force. Every ship, sub and aircraft is a sensor and a shooter, linked by secure communications. The Naval Integrated Fire Control System lets any platform launch a missile using another's targeting data, extending range and defense. The Ford-class carriers with electromagnetic launch systems and massive power generation are floating fortresses ready for future tech. Virginia-class submarines are stealthy, versatile, and can deploy unmanned vehicles or cruise missiles. Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, now with Spy-6 radar, can spot and counter even stealthy threats. These ships are the fleet's guardians, armed for both offense and defense. The Navy's digital backbone turns data into dominance. Adaptability and integration are the new force multipliers. The US Navy's edge is not just in hardware, but in how everything works together. This makes the fleet nearly impossible to surprise or overwhelm. The Navy's power is global, persistent, and always evolving. Every new ship, sub, and system is designed for the battles of tomorrow. The US Navy is more unstoppable than ever. Its technological lead is only growing. The Navy is already building the future. The Columbia-class ballistic missile sub will be quieter and never need refueling, ensuring a stealthy nuclear deterrent. New surface combatants will pack more firepower and be ready for directed energy weapons like lasers and microwaves. These ships will command networks of unmanned systems, dominating high-end conflicts. The Constellation-class frigate brings advanced sensors and versatility to both open ocean and coastal missions. Modern support ships like the John Lewis-class oilers keep the fleet supplied and on station worldwide. The biggest leap unmanned vessels and submarines. Large unmanned surface vessels will boost missile capacity without risking sailors. The Orca Autonomous Sub can deploy mines or other payloads covertly. Unmanned systems will make the fleet bigger, more distributed, and harder to defeat. The Navy's next generation is about flexibility, resilience, and overwhelming force. The future is already taking shape. The real revolution is in software. AI and autonomy are transforming the fleet. Project Overmatch is building an AI-driven network connecting every ship, sub, and sensor. AI processes battlefield data in real time, giving commanders instant superior decision-making. Machine speed reactions are essential against hypersonic threats. The Navy's goal win with the best algorithms. Autonomy is reshaping operations, like the MQ-25 Stingray, an unmanned refueling drone that extends carrier air wing range. Future air wings will mix manned and unmanned aircraft for combat, surveillance, and electronic warfare. Partnerships with tech giants like SpaceX bring commercial innovation to the fleet. Starlink provides resilient high-speed communications at sea. AI-driven maintenance predicts failures before they happen. This public-private partnership keeps the Navy at the digital cutting edge. The result? A force that's not just powerful, but smart. Intelligence is now the ultimate weapon. U.S. naval supremacy shapes the world. Politically, carrier strike groups are America's ultimate diplomatic tool, reassuring allies and deterring threats. The Navy's forward presence signals resolve and commitment. Economically, the Navy secures global trade. 90% of commerce moves by sea. By keeping sea lanes open, the Navy underwrites the world economy. Humanitarian missions show American soft power, delivering aid after disasters and building goodwill. This global reach saves lives and stabilizes regions, but dominance breeds competition. Rivals like China and Russia are racing to catch up. They're developing anti-access weapons to challenge US power. This arms race demands constant innovation and investment. The debate over priorities and budgets is ongoing. The Navy's edge is vital, but never guaranteed. Its impact is felt everywhere, every day. The Navy's journey is far from over. Directed energy weapons like Helios lasers are already being deployed, offering speed of light defense. Hypersonic missiles will strike targets at unprecedented speed, changing offense and defense forever. Defending against these threats will require new sensors and interceptors. Quantum technology could revolutionize navigation, sensing, and secure communications. Whoever masters quantum first will have a decisive edge. The future is about networks, integrated platforms, sensors, and software working as one. Innovation is accelerating, driven by public-private partnerships. Technological supremacy is the foundation of global security and economic stability. To stay ahead, the US must keep investing, embracing disruption and nurturing talent. The unstoppable fleet of tomorrow is being built today. The future of global order may depend on it. 